it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make an acrylic sign. So this acrylic sign is different than the ones that I've done in the past, which is usually for weddings. Although I think this is a pretty cool wedding gift that you could do as well. Um, so this is the Spotify sign. So basically what you do is you take your, you have your Spotify app on your phone and then you scan, you take the, you take your camera feature and you go over this barcode and it will play your song. So what people have been doing is it looks just like what it does on Spotify. So at the bottom, this is, you know, the play, pause, and then you have the code. And then normally people would write out who the song, um, the song name and artist, and then a picture of that photo album. So usually the, or I'm sorry, the record album. Um, and instead of, the record album, maybe they'll put a picture of themselves with their family or whatever it is. I didn't have a good picture, so what I did was I picked my favorite lyrics from the song, and I thought it would be kind of cool to have the lyrics, the code, and then, you know, the, the symbols that go with it. So, let's get started. My favorite trick when it comes to acrylic signs is to have your Cricut draw out your whole image. Now this is gonna be a little bit different. I had so many learning moments with this Spotify thing. First of all, this was my original design. Here's the words, here's the code, and then, you know, the, the little play sim icons, whatever. It turns out this code does not work unless you have the Spotify logo in front of it, which made no sense to me because, and I wanted to make this bigger, so I got rid of the logo, right, to make this bigger and easier to cut and weed, um, because you're in the Spotify app in order for this to work, why would you need the Spotify logo? <laughs> it made no sense to me. So when I finally figured it out, um, I had to make everything smaller. So this this line will not fit here, but I think it's okay. So, like I said, my favorite trick is to have your Cricut draw out your whole um, your whole image so that it goes underneath, and then we're gonna tape it with washi tape, and that way it's always gonna be straight. Um, in this case, I could have just cut this whole thing as one image because it was all in one color. I did not, but um, I could have done that, then you wouldn't even really, I mean, I guess you would still, it's nice to have just to make sure it's totally straight. So anyway, but it would be super helpful if you had multiple images that you're trying to make sure that it, it comes out straight. So, all right, so here's my washi tape. You wanna get that out. So I have, to, um, I have my Cricut cut out a five by seven piece of paper and then draw on it, draw out my whole thing so that it's so easy for me to make sure that this is straight. So I'm going to do this. I may do one more tape just to make sure it's on here well. Man, my... Um, I don't know if I let my daughter play with my tape, and that's why it's so bad. Okay, here we go. Oh my, okay. I'm gonna do one more to make sure it's really on here. Um, I guess I'll do it at the bottom. Oops. Okay, so make sure it's on here straight. Okay, so here's my bottom. All right, so let's do let's do everything the words and the symbol first, and then this will be last since this is not drawn out with with the actual image. So, all right, so here are the words. I first did it. I didn't like this because it, it felt a little bit hard to read, so I decided to do print. But look at what happened with my print. This is uh, metallic foil. So it doesn't weed that well. You have to cut it twice, and I have the maker, so it's kind of annoying that I have to cut it twice on the right setting. So you can see when I'm lifting it up, it does come out, but what happens is I lost my F a little bit. It came up, 
So, and I lost my J completely. So it was close to being perfect. So I switched over to cursive. It's much easier with cursive because it's all connected. So it's really like one, uh, like one image per word as opposed to each letter being its separate item. So it was much more difficult. All right, so here's this piece. The other trick that I like is when you know you're gonna have a little bit of a difficult time weeding, I cut squares around it so it's just easier so you can see each one has like a little box around it it's just easier to do that or you could or you can cut it up beforehand it's the same thing but um depends on how much work you want to do <laughs> i like doing that occasionally it just depends on the on the project so i'm going to get rid of this outside border Okay, so I have my transfer tape here. Make sure if you're using Cricut transfer tape that you are using the gray one and not the purple one. The purple one is specifically for glitter vinyl. And if you get the strong grip tape, transfer tape on anything else, you might as well just start over, okay? And I mean that in all sincerity. <laughs> okay, you need your brayer. So I do it both ways. I do it this way and then I'll flip it over to make sure that my words are sticking to my transfer tape. Just so it's easier. Okay, when you're lifting this up, what you wanna do is, since this was already up, you want to pull back this paper back on itself. It's so hard to see because it's on, it's gray, gray foil on my, I'm gonna lift it up onto here so I can see it a little bit better. Okay. I'm going to go from the top down. Okay, we're getting there. Almost one more line. And I think we got it all. Okay. And then before you throw this away, just take one more peek that everything came off. Flip this over and just read it. So it says, and in our moments filled with joy is where I live, where I am free. So everything transferred over perfectly. So what I love about doing this is that now I can actually like really stretch this out to make sure that there are no bubbles because I don't have to worry about how straight this is because I'm just gonna lay it right on top and you can see, I wanna lay it right on top. Sorry, let me move this closer so that I don't make a mistake. And you can really, you only have to line up one, one line and I'm actually going to trim this a little bit to make it easier on myself. So here's my scissors. So there's less tape at the bottom. And I'm gonna do from the bottom up. So I'm doing it this way. So once I have this first layer down, I'm gonna keep this tight and taut, right? I'm going to hold it like this at the corners and lay it down. And then once you have it down, take your brayer and really make sure it's in. I mean, this is easier because it's letters, so you're not, and it's small, so you're not really going to have bubbles. Where you're going to have bubbles is like with thicker, bigger images, but still, we don't want any bubbles on here. We want it on, 
and I think we are good. Okay, once that's down, lift this up, and I will double check for any bubbles, but I think this is perfect. Yay! <laughs> I love it, I love it already. Okay, so we're gonna reuse that transfer tape. We're now gonna do this. So I'm just gonna cut this off. And I'm gonna cut the edges, take that off. So you can see, I mean, I love doing acrylic signs once I figured out to draw underneath because it makes the lining up. That will just make or break your project, so. All right, so I'm going to cut this to make it easier on ourselves. Put this back here so we can reuse that on another project. And see how this isn't this isn't quite long enough. So I'm just going to tape it like that. Cut off another piece and tape it like this and that will be fine. Okay. So make sure you get it down as much as possible. Flip it over. All right. So let's pull this off. And this one's, I was just gonna say much easier, but that piece didn't come up at all. Easy peasy. All right. Which way is this? <laughs> okay. Again, you can line it up. Keep it kind of, you know, taut right there. Okay. And I think, again, this is going to be flawless. I don't anticipate any bubbles here. I think we're good. Um, I got the acrylic signs on Amazon, so it's in my Amazon shop. That's www.amazon.com slash shop slash the useless crafter. I love it. It came with, um, I had to order the stand separately, but it's um, little, little wood blocks that has um, a little slit in it so that you can put this down. All right, so that's done. The last part is this. So this one... We don't really have much to line it up with, but we do have the, the lines to tell us how straight it is, so that should help us. And then let's put this down. Right, let's see if this sticks down. Yep. Oh, almost. Oh, okay, that little one, I'll have to go back and put that back on. It's crooked. It got off track. Okay, so get a pair of tweezers and I'm gonna put it on the white part so maybe you could see a little bit better. You see how that one got off-centered? So this one, there, I think that's good. Okay. So when you put this down, do you see how my lines, they, they will still match up a little bit. So I just want to make sure that one of them is straight. And then hold it taut. Okay. I think we're good there. I 
I make the big wedding acrylic signs and I love making it because it's stress free when you know your lines and your words are going to be straight and you don't have any bubbles. All right, so let's take out this, um, the washi tape. And now we're going to paint the back. So we're going to mix some colors. Um, see, you see, it's so pretty. I love it. Okay, well, you will be able to read it better once we get the paint down. So I am doing, I wanted to do like a super, super, super pale blue. So the vinyl goes on top, the paint's gonna go on the back and that's gonna give us that extra like dimension too because it's gonna have that layered feel a little bit. So let's turn this over. I like to just put it on something like this. This is a drink holder. I'm just gonna put it like this. The way you wanna paint this is you wanna make sure you don't paint the whole thing, but you wanna make sure that every um, there's paint behind every inch of that sticker of the uh, the vinyl that way you can read it okay so here's my paint i'm gonna mix right here so i want just a little bit of blue and this is acrylic paint from michael's it's just craft smart and artist loft okay and you don't need a lot of paint i think i already have too much paint down but i want to mix this color as soon as I can get it out. Okay. Okay, let's mix these two. So it's practically white. I'm going to add a little bit more white to this. So I kind of like to just brush it like this and kind of give it a rough edge. And I like to paint it in one direction so that the paint brush is all going one way. Okay, so we can flip this over and see. And you can get a feel for what you like. I feel like that needs a little bit more just to make it more even and maybe both sides. So a little bit there, a little bit there. So I'm just gonna take some. Okay, so let's flip it over. There. So, and in our moments, oh, I think a little bit more on that S. Filled with joy is where I live, where I am free. I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit in this corner right here. I feel like it's missing just a little bit. And where was that S? Uh, moments, right over here. Oh, I can see it. Okay, let's see how it looks now. Oh, I still feel like a little bit more right there. I know, this is just, <laughs> pretty soon I'm gonna color the whole thing. Um, I won't do that, but. All right, now I think I'm done. Oh! Oh yeah. Almost. <laughs> I'm gonna hit it a little bit more down here. Now I'm done. <laughs> All right, I hope you enjoyed that. You could do anything with these acrylic signs. You can do table numbers, 
You can do menu items for your party, like I've seen drink menus, appetizers. It's super pretty, super elegant, um, easy to do. As you saw, that didn't take any time at all. Um, and it looks clean, it looks professional because you're cutting everything out with the font and it gives you that cohesive look. So if you had um, a gift table here, a sign-in table here, a drink menu, and everything's of the same font, same color, it looks amazing. All right, so any comments or questions, please post them. If you have a special request, post it here as well. Um, I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. And you, afterwards, you can also send me an email. It's Ann, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. All right, thanks guys. Have a great weekend. I'm gonna flip this over, let it dry. And I will see you on Instagram with the final picture with the stand because I love the little stand. All right, bye guys.